Okay, you guys, last thing for the day. I'm gonna flip over to our drawing here. You can rip it out now if you want, or you can leave it in there. It's up to you. Um, well, I guess you will rip it out in a minute because we're gonna um, glue that to it. I lost my pencil. Where'd it go? Here it is. Okay. So we are going to draw Dr. Temple Grandin. So what they have for you started is her face and a little bit of her neck. So we are going to next draw the neck um, of her shirt. So it's like going to be a little V. I'm going to go down to the middle, down to the middle, try to make it even. Okay. I'm not going to make it go too low. I still want there to be space because we're going to draw a little bit of her shirt. So I'm going to go start at her neck and I'm going to draw some shoulders. And all that's going to be is like a little curve out and that one will go all the way to the bottom, that black line. I'll try to make them even. Okay, so we've got her shoulders, a little bit of her body. Now we're going to add a collar on her shirt. The collar is going to go straight down on both sides. And then we're gonna go straight back up to that, that corner of the V. So it's like we're making two triangles. Go. Okay, pause if you need more time. Oops. Next, we're gonna draw some details on her shirt. All right, so the shirt we're actually drawing is this one right here. So we just drew the blue collar. Now we're gonna draw her little tie and her, um, oops, sorry, and her, I don't know what you call this, a design on her shirt. So first, I will do, let's see, how do they draw the ties? So the tie is like a little bit of a curved line. You see how I curved it in a little bit and then went back out? Gonna do the same thing on this side. It's gonna curve that way and then curve in. Okay. Next, the details on the shirt, they have a line that goes in a tiny bit below the shoulder. And then we're gonna make like a big U. It's gonna dip down and go back up into that tie. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll draw a little line that goes in a big U, and we'll make it go into there, into her tie. Okay. Next, we're gonna draw her hair. Okay, so we're not going to finish this part yet. We're gonna bring it all the way down here and around. And how they did her hair was like one big, so I'm gonna start up here, up here in the face, like below her cheeks. And I'm gonna do a big stretch there. And I kind of made it a little bit curvy. And then I'm gonna do some smaller curves up here. All the way around. So this is like the outside of her hair. I'm gonna make it go back behind her head. Next, we'll finish this part off here. So this is kind of like her bangs, I guess. What like, um, what goes across her face. Last, we can do her face. Don't forget, if I've went too fast, pause me, okay? You don't have to keep going, or you don't have to try to keep up with me. So I'm gonna draw some two big old eyes. I might have made these eyes too big, but that's okay. I'll draw two eyeballs. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so there's her eyes. I'm gonna draw some eyelashes coming off of her eyes. I'll draw a little bump here for her nose. And I made it a little bit crooked. I did not make it straight up and down. 
kind of did it a little bit sideways. And I'm gonna do her smile. And there you have it. There is Dr. Grandin. All right, you can take some crayons, you can color this. And then we're gonna go on to here. So actually, you know what, why don't we write first and then you can color at the end. I'm going to rip both of these pages out. Go. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'll cut out one of these Dr. Grandin pages. And you're going to write on here one thing that you learned by reading this book. One thing that you learned about Dr. Grandin. All right, so let's pause the video. Think of one thing you learned about Dr. Grandin when we read the book. Okay, you should have had some time to think of ideas of what you learned about her. I'm going to list some that I thought of. Something that I learned was that she could not talk until she was older, right? Until she was like a kid. When she was, when most kids learn how to talk, they're usually still kind of babies. They're like one and two. Dr. Grandin did not talk until she was older. I know that she didn't like touches. I know that she would throw tantrums. I know that she thought with pictures. Remember those pictures in her head because she didn't have any words. I could say Dr. Grandin made a rocket ship. I could say Dr. Grandin made a machine to calm her down. I could say Dr. Grandin made a, invented a path for cows. There are so many things we learned about in the book. I'm not gonna fill this out for you. I want you to think about one thing that you learned about Dr. Grandin. And then I'm gonna take my glue, just put a little glue on the bottom here. And you can attach it to your drawing. And after that, you're done. You're welcome to color. And that's it, okay? Very good job, you guys. Thank you. Bye.